Archives! Finally, my archive orders have arrived. Minus one of them, which is my main one. But that one did finally ship. Thankfully, I was getting a little worried there for a second, but that's okay. That just means you can look forward to another video. But today, I'm going to share with you what I got so far, which are this sweater, two coats, and two tops. So this first one is the Chuck sweater and it is in the rose color which i would actually describe it more of a bubblegum pink cotton candy pink i think it's beautiful and i know this color may be a little it's very youthful but what i did is i just paired it with some black trousers to make it more business casual but i love pink so for me it just works well in my wardrobe. Now, what I will say is that though it's extremely soft and cozy, I already took the tag off. This is a for sure keep for me, uh, but fuzzies get everywhere. And now that I'm, I'm, I'm wearing it, you can see fuzzies are flying in my mouth. You need to have a lint roller to wear this. But what I was thinking is if you wear maybe some denim or a different type of fabric kind of pants, a different type of pants, I think you'll be okay. Uh, I just chose black, so I probably wouldn't wear this again, though I love how it looks. I would just wear some denim or some different, maybe lighter color tone pants. Now, I'm not gonna get too much into the styling aspect in today's video. I, I know I love to talk about the details, the fit, the fabric, and give you styling options, but I just want to share with you, I want to save that for a whole dedicated styling video, and today I just want to share with you what I got as far as the items go. But I highly recommend this one if you're looking for a cozy sweater. I really love the I, I love the structure of this and the cut of this sweater. It is more on the boxy side, so if I'll show you here, it is boxy and I did size down as I tend to do in Cezanne knitwear. I love to do a little tuck, but yes, that's the length. And there are some creases here because I literally just took it out of the box, uh, so hopefully those will relax. But I do love to do a little tuck and I love the detail here at the neckline. It's a thicker, almost like a cowl neck. It's a little bit higher, not a turtleneck, not a high neck, but a nice, a nice length. I enjoy it. Uh, now I am wearing a thermal, a long sleeve thermal underneath as I always do. But if you don't, you'll probably feel some, some itch because of the fabric. It's a wool blend and I love this. What do you think? There are a few different colors and I just, I snagged this one up. So if it is available, if you have your eye on it, look out for customer returns as it, as they say, or for the act too, but love this one. Now for, let me show you some coats that I grabbed. The first one is this parka. So this is the Gabrielle parka in navy and this is a dark dark navy almost black which could be a benefit for those of you who like to wear black your neutrals i love dark navy dark navy is my neutral it's my black it's my preferred dark color to wear so for me i would have loved for this to be more on the blue side of navy but never nevertheless I do really love this one and I am going to keep this one as well. I went my true to size 36, which is a US 4. And what I will say is when I received this, it did come with a hanger, so uh, a nice velvet hanger. But when I received it, it was completely, it, there were some spots on the back. And this is likely a customer return. That's probably their whole deal with their archive sale, uh, our customer returns, which I did wipe it away, which was fine. But just the fact of receiving this, that, that's something that could have been done before being shipped out, just a side note. And I did kind of want to talk a little bit about my experience with shopping their sale. It was my first time participating in their archive sale. I knew it was going to be this big thing. I'll share a little bit about that at the end. Just wanna get through showing you the pieces first. But this is something that was on my 
wardrobe wish list in general not this one necessarily but I was I was looking for a parka or some sort of coat that I can wear when it's raining out when it's drizzling out and something a little bit more warm and also a little bit on the nicer side so this one zips all the way up and it has these really beautiful buttons I can show you here so there's buttons and it zips and the inside is quilted which makes it extremely comfy and warm inside and also on the sleeves you can see here now the sleeves are the blue this is the blue that i love the navy blue so it has that cotton material and then over top it has this um, water resistant material over top the hood is a furry fabric hood on that section there that's the only part where it has that furry material this is exactly what i was looking for and i'm definitely going to keep this one so yay the next coat is the johnson coat in the prince of wales print it's a great plaid and this is also something that was on my wardrobe wish list in general i was looking for a nice timeless gray coat i love gray like I love navy, uh, but this was exactly what I was looking for. Now I am slightly hesitant because of the sizing. I'm petite in a sense that I am 5'3", and when I wear long coats such as this, it can, it can be a little bit overpowering on me, and I did go true to size. I was thinking maybe I should have sized down, because that can get a little tricky because I do want to wear it over nice, chunky sweaters. The quality of this one is fantastic. So the print is beautiful. It almost has a herringbone print to it. It's this beautiful light gray and the buttons are actually a, has like a brown hint to it, a dark brown hint. These are securely fastened buttons, which is something I look for in coats, especially a investment price point. It has a nice secured button inside as well. It's double breasted. These are working pockets. I have yet to open the pockets, but there's two functioning pockets and the lining is navy blue. I mean, it's just overall a beautifully designed and beautifully structured coat. It also has the open vent in the back, which is also something, a small detail I look for in coats. And I just really love this. It's just, I need to think about the fit and if it's going to work for me and my frame. I mean, it would look beautiful wearing boots and heels, but that's not something I wear on a daily basis. I'm always in my flats. I'm always in my sneakers or my birdie flats. And that's just uh, how I would, I mean, I would wanna wear this coat at any given time, not just when I'm wearing boots or heels. But it's something I'm gonna have to think about um, if it's something that I might be able to get uh, Taylor very happy about this purchase. I'm just gonna keep my eye on if there is a smaller size I might swap it out. Otherwise, it's beautiful Next up is the Myrta blouse and there were two different options of this one. The first one was this floral print this navy with red and orange floral print design and the other one was a solid pink which you would have thought that I would go for that one, but I, I really I wanted some deeper color blouses uh, to add to my closet and I thought this one was beautiful. Now the feel of this is, this is 100% silk so this is a very smooth feeling silk. Sometimes depending on the silk it can be uh, a little tight or a little scratchy but this is a, a beautiful uh, silk material and you can see it has this ruffle design there's some pleats and a ruffle design on the neckline there are the covered buttons and the covered buttons on the sleeves on the cuff there's a ruffle two-tiered ruffle detail at the bottom hemline now that's something i was not aware of <laughs> in the photos there was no photos of this just the full look of the blouse it the models were had these tucked in so i wasn't aware that it was this baby doll style uh, structure of the blouse which for me not my favorites and that's the reason why I think I'm gonna going to return this one though it's so soft and it pains me <laughs> to return it now when I 
shop online or just shopping in general, I do go into it with the mindset that I am going to keep it. I don't go too overboard where I buy all of these things with the mindset that I'm going to return it. That's just one little tiny thing I try to do as far as for my carbon footprint. That's a whole other conversation, but because Cezanne's I mean, it's hard because especially when you're shopping a sale like this where you have to make these instant decisions and Cezanne does have a great return policy. I mean, I've definitely returned things before, just trying to figure out my sizing and the fit when I'm, I'm trying a new brand. But for the most part, I do my best to, if I see the item, really think about it in that moment and see if it works for my closet. So I, I do my best not to return, but sometimes you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? <laughs> Lastly is a t-shirt. And I saw this straight away and I was like, wow, that is such a cute design. It is the, the Astro t-shirt in the balance. So this is the, the Libra sign as far as a horoscope goes. I'm a Libra. And I thought this was, it's like a, almost like a drawing print and it looks like a crayon drawing print. I thought it was, I love this. I love graphic tees. It's my way of making something more casual. So I would wear this underneath a blazer or with some denim and it's just my way to, to wear my more fancy dressy style and just switch it up with a graphic tee. Now the quality of this t-shirt, I was actually pleasantly surprised. It's really soft nice material cotton and I, I think it's great. I, I saw that there's a bunch of them still available so if you are into your horoscope or <laughs> if you want something that's like a nice graphic tee, nice quality graphic tee, you can get this one. Oh, I did want to share a little bit about my experience with shopping the sale for the first time. So I did stay up. For me, it was I had to stay up at 12.30 in the morning, which I guess it's not too bad compared to some of you in different time zones. Uh, but yes, I stayed up until 12.30 to shop the sales on the site and I got in, I got in and everything was going smoothly. I was adding things to cart and then things started slowing down. So I knew, I knew that they were getting high traffic on their website and I knew they were probably, once pages started to, it stopped loading, I knew that I was probably needed to check out as soon as I can, as soon as I could, and I tried to, couldn't log in, it was a little going downhill, but fortunately my items in my cart were saved and I was able to check out, but the next time that I was trying to look through and browse through their collection, nothing was loading. So I was up for about two hours trying to load some, trying to load and check out. So that was not fun, but I, I going into it, even though it was my first time shopping, I knew it was kind of going to be like that, uh, just because of hearing the anticipation of the sale. Now, what I would say is on their end, what they probably could have done is opened it up to maybe just their email list or open it up and shared it on Instagram because they just opened it to the public and they were, I saw that they were doing sponsored posts. So they're bringing all this traffic, which of course, from a business uh, point of view, that makes sense. But I think they have a well enough already customer base. So that's something they could have done for their customers as an incentive would be if you're on our email list then you get early access and that could have managed the traffic on their website a little better so that was that experience and then also receiving the item so it said they stated on every single product page that it was going to take up to 15 days for the order to be shipped so to me, I, going into it, I knew it was going to take a little bit longer, uh, but I was, I did honestly think that they were just giving themselves a little bit more leeway. I didn't expect for it to actually take the 15 days for, for my order to be shipped, but like I said, they were clear with that and that's fine. Now, my main order, which I'm still waiting on, it actually took an extra day, uh, which that's okay because they did email and, and at least they emailed me and kept up with the communication. So yes. 
sometimes you just kind of got to be understanding in that sense if they are upfront, but there are a few things that maybe they could have done better for their customer. Like, like I mentioned with the presentation of the product and just the fact of their website being super slow. Uh, but other than that, it's exciting and I'm, I'm happy with my purchases. So those are my thoughts. Feel free to leave your thoughts down below and I hope to chat with you in the comments section and come on over and say hello on Instagram. I post my outfits over there and my Instagram is at it's Monica Rose. Thanks so much again and I'll see you next time.